Okay, well it's time to kind of um I want to try something else here. I want to we're going to push our military to the edge once more. And um this next little step that we're going to do here. I'm opening up all of the drawbridges. Um, so, you know, every one of them is going to be down. We're going to be accessible from every angle, every side of the map. I'm going to be claiming all of my traps here and resetting them. And I've got a squad stationed at each each bridge, each um drawbridge just in case anything does arrive or try to sneak through. I also still have the military dwarfs on patrol, constantly walking around the inner circle here. And um, there's still plenty of digging and building left to do, though I don't know how much more of it we'll actually get to. Um, things are slowing down quite dramatically, and um, we're down to 96 dwarves. We've lost something, what, we're up to 140 some? before we started doing all of this siege, siegery stuff. Um, if we don't get migrant waves soon, we, you know, we could be in trouble. Like I said, I really don't want to seal us up inside the, the volcano at this point. Even though I do have drawbridges, that's not what I built them for. They're more for aesthetics and for dwarves to throw tantrums and destroy and dump bodies down into the magma that will be there eventually, I hope. I just don't know when we're going to get around to, to fill in the moat and everything. I think I'm going to have to build pumps for that. Maybe that's what I'll use this pump stack, these windmills for. I'll hook them up to one small pump stack that draws from this pool or something, or from the, the, uh, the volcano here, and fill up the moat and pits of all the drawbridges instead of trying to suck up water from something like 20 Z levels below. We'll, we, yeah, we'll do something a little bit easier then. And I still do want to build some type of small little temple right here with a a little bridge that leads right over the middle of this pit. I don't know if it should be a walkway, like flooring with pillars on the edges, or if it should be just a, a retractable bridge. I could pull a lever to and dump things down into the volcano with, or into this little sacrifice pool for. This is kind of an offshoot. If you don't want to feed the volcano directly, you can throw stuff in here. It's just a few of the plans I still am going to be attempting. Um, it, it's time to stop um, assuming that I'm going to be able to accomplish everything, though. Oh, I'm disappointed about these catapults and about the ballista. There's Alex the Fourth, weakened wills. No kills just yet, unfortunately. But, you, have, you worship two deities, Omer and Gotham, and is your pet alive? Yep, you you still are one of the few with a war bear. It wasn't killed by the illithid toxins. <sighs> so many dead. So many animals gone. Our bear war force did not last very long at all. I'm quite disappointed in that turn of events. We need to get more gears built underneath all of these windmills. Get them connected with axles. And maybe one run one long axle right here. Or should I run it all the way down here? I don't want to run. I don't want to waste too much power running the axle further than needed. I may actually have to also bid, build windmills down here. Maybe I'll put windmills along this wall and this wall. Connect them all to one single pump, and it'll be the the most powered pump that dwarven civilization has ever seen. I don't think it'll help it pump any quicker, though. Pretty sure that the the pump stacks are. Yeah, the, the pumps don't work that way. They pump a set amount regardless of how much power they're given. I believe I could be wrong. I'm quite often wrong about many things. So it is um, 10th slate, 1095. The military is positioned at all of the gates. The cafe is um, probably going to be built soon. I don't know about the second level apartments just yet. That might be a project for whenever we... Um, get more migrants. I won't be putting them in the military. All of them, hopefully. Hopefully we get enough that I can leave them in the civilian forces, so we don't have that many idlers either. 
All of those idlers right there are nurses. Water carriers, food carriers, suturers, um, doctors. Something to take care of all of these wounded. So I'm hoping that a few of them will be able to get back to work eventually. Who do we have here? D-Man, unconscious. Trouble breathing. Right lung is cut open, but it's been sutured. And Gamma Lin is on the way to immobilize the break. So they're working. They're keeping track and keeping care of everyone who needs it. And we'll be back whenever the next siege arrives. The next child snatcher steals one of our doctors. Who knows? Maybe a forgotten beast that can kill everyone. Well, we'll see if the game can deliver um, a combo attack to us, I guess. This is the first blow here. Um, the Forgotten Beast Cody has come, a towering, scaly slug. It has thin wings of stretched skin and has a bloated body. Its gold scales are low, large and close set. Beware of its fire. So, we're going to have a nice little fight here. I don't think fire is that deadly. It can fly. Left ring, left left wing, right wing. I can't talk today. Maybe I should just not do this fight. But it's on our farming level here. And I imagine it will be showing up shortly. I can't really pull any squad off of their gate, so we'll send the present axes down here. Even though they're just an archer squad. And some of our squads are pretty beat up. A couple of them are missing one or two. And Complex Inks is the most messed up. They're missing two, two soldiers. What? You can't be dying yet. Ero Lisi, you've died from thirst. God dang it. In your cell. Son of a bitch. I guess our nurses weren't really taking care of you. Oh, our prison system sucks. I'm awful. Horrible, horrible warden. Another dwarf bites the dust. So... Who else were we going to send down here? I think the Teeth of Creation. We'll scramble them as well to give our archers some cover. Again, I don't think the fire will be that bad. Even though, um... I do, I think, yeah, I have temperature turned on, so it's possible it could spread all through here. All through the forest. The mushroom forest. Could catch our dwarfs on fire. They could run to the booze stockpile, catch it on fire. They could run to the central stairwell, set other stuff on fire. I don't think it'll come to that, but it could. There's Master Fancy Pants Jaw Towns. Future Mayor, perhaps. He's the first to arrive on scene. Of course, you know, there's no guarantee that's where the beast will show up at. He is free to go wherever he pleases. In fact, there he is right now. Is there any entrances close to him? No. He can't get into any of the bedrooms there. He can't get into the butcher shop. He can't drop down to the next um, cavern level through here. And make it to the dining hall, which is still wide open, by the way. So it could be a while before he gets to us. Um, I'm going to stop recording here, and I'll come back whenever he makes his way over there. Wherever he makes his way to. It is, um, mid-spring, 19th slate. Yay. Another year. Well, while we're waiting for the Forgotten Beast, um, Hody, or Cody, whatever his name is, to show up and actually put up a fight, he's still wandering around, um, not even seeming interested in our dwarves on that level. But Glen Ray, you created a Toad Trezaz, Sass, a Shisht Schefter, and it is called Chip Chopped Decays, valued at 1,200 dwarf bucks. You put a little bit of detail into it. It is, of course, of the highest quality. It is decorated with funky wood and cow bone, and encircled with bands of schist, and desite, and lead. This object is adorned with hanging rings of mastiff leather. So, another fine scepter for our scepter collection. Um, I don't know if we have anyone who collects those or not. But, if we do, I'm sure they'll be pleased to see that. And they'll probably pilfer it whenever they feel like it. Uh, let's see, I still have the military station down here just waiting. And our friend, the party guest, is right here. 
Just setting hiding in the corner, Cody, the Forgotten Beast. The coward slug with wings, who doesn't want to come put up a fight for some reason. If he takes too much longer, I may be tempted to, um, tear down the wall and send our military stampeding through that level. That's the zoo level, that's where the Forgotten Beasts have been congregating for quite some time. It might be time that we go down there and clear it out. There's Kanguru, the Forgotten Beast. I don't know if that would help my frame rate or not. It might. I think that they have Building Destroyer. Yep, Cody, you're about ready to bring the wrath of the Dwarven Justice System upon your head and the head of your friends. I think we're going to be coming for him soon. <clears throat> it is Ninth Fell Sight, Late Spring. I'll give him until the end of autumn to charge at us. And um, then we're going down there to clear it out. Once and for all. Okay, well, we've got an ambush at the south gate. It looks like a bunch of, let's see, we got Trollkin, Dark Elf Swordsman, Mistress Swordsman, Goblin Swordsman, a Gobliness Swordsman, and a Goblin Swordsman. So just a whole squad of Goblin Swordsmen, and a couple others have shown up. A swordsman squad, basically. See, so we've got Rawl the Fourth there, Wedge is there, Infidel's there, and actually, look, they've got Goblinous Swordsman right in the front getting ready to clash with Z Hall the Fourth, a professional swords dwarf. Behind there is a Lockman, who I don't think is currently in the military, even though he should be, a legendary swords dwarf. Actually, I know he's in one of the squads, I just don't know if he's on duty. He doesn't look like it. He's in civilian clothing, civilian icons right there. Thomas Merrick is there, Mr. X is there, and Box McCloud is there. Um, I'm not going to have to give a command or anything. I'm just going to charge forward and kill them because they've been stationed there. Hopefully they kill them. And they stumble forward. Z Hall slaps the Goblinist Swordsman, the left, um, the left D. Or. What? And the left. Okay, you slap. Oh, yeah, I'm derping out for a moment. It's been a while since I've read this. You slap it in the left uh, upper leg with the flat of the copper short sword, but it's deflected. Tomless Merrick strikes the goblinous swordsman in the lower body from behind, bruising the guts. Don't be slapping him. Cut him to bits. Cut him to ribbons. Thomas Merrick strikes one in the arm, severing a tendon. Good blow there. Wedge twists the embedded cobalt short sword around. And the trollkin axeman's head, it drops to the ground. Thomas Merrick slams into an obstacle. Mr. X breathes fire, singeing one of them. Wedge stabs a trollkin axeman in the head with the cobalt short sword. That's where it got lodged in. An infidel slashes a dark elf swordsman in the right foot with the copper short sword. It fractures the bone. Rawl the fourth, you slash an axeman in the upper body with a cobalt short sword, tearing apart the muscle and tearing apart the liver. Blood begins to ooze out of the goblin's wounds. And another ambush. Shit. I think with that squad just got ambushed again. And Box McCloud, you... Your sixth iteration here. He is dead. Box McCloud the sixth is no longer with us. So really, was that just another... Where was that ambush at? Hang on. Because, yeah. I think, yeah, we might have been ambushed right on top of there. Goblin Swordsman strikes Mr. X in the head with the pommel of the bronze cleaver, but the attack is deflected by his one-horned helm. Uh, Box McCloud's knocked over and tumbles backwards. You fall backwards, and um, then you bled to death, trying to crawl away from there. Mr. X, you're the one doing the brunt of the combat right now, the majority of it. You slap the Goblin Swordsman in the nose with the flat of the cobalt short sword, but the attack is deflected. The Goblin Swordsman chops Box McCloud in the right upper leg, tearing apart the muscle tearing apart the nerves. An artery's been opened by the attack. That's when you got knocked over and tumbled backwards. I'm kind of reading the, the log messed up. Infidel swings, but the goblin ducks underneath it and rolls away. Roll the fourth. You stab a dark elf swordsman in the left upper arm with the cobalt short sword, shattering the bone. Thomas Merrick is no longer stunned. He daze, comes out of his daze charging, slams into the goblinist, knocking them backwards. Mr. X bleeds to death from his many wounds. Looks like he got his leg chopped off, actually. Mr. X loses hold of his copper high boot and falls over, then bleeds to death on the bridge. Um, Rawl the fourth, you stab the dark elf swordsman in the right upper arm with the cobalt short sword, shatter the bone again. Goblin swordsman stabs Infidel in the left lower leg, fracturing the bone. Infidel falls over. 
and somebody got a snatcher probably in the cage right there actually that squad is peacefully unaware of the chaos that is happening at the south gate an infidel you bleed to death the dark elf swordsman attacks Rawl the six but he jumps away dodging to the side Rawl stabs the dark elf swordsman in the left upper arm shattering the bone I swear you've shattered that bone several times now oh hurry up and rout them who do we have left here Looks like Asbuzz is in pain. Right hand, and Goblin of Swordsman running away. Rawl the fifth, you're char or, yeah, Rawl, you're charging after him. Wedge, he's got some nicks and wounds, but he'll be fine. Z Hall Beach Rope, the fortunate glade of voice. You've got five kills. Starting in 1094, you've went on a killing spree. Vampirus, Goblinus, Warlock, and Goblin, you are a Goblin Slayer. You're a stone dwarf as well. Relationship, you worship Nish. And let's see, you're 50 years old. You enjoy uh, marble, tin, cherry opal, opal, poplar wood, giant toad leather. And you absolutely detest toad. So you like their leather after they've been killed. But you detest them while they're alive. And um, hopefully you survive this combat. Somebody just had an arm or something chopped off there. Quite grotesque. Thomas Merrick III is there. I think he's chopping down a goblin right there. This one charges at him and then says, You know what? I'm not even going to stop to help my friend. I'm out of here. And so he takes off sprinting towards the, the edge of our map here. And he'll make it away. And where is everyone else? Surely we have more than three dwarfs left in that squad. And where's Azpuz, that, that goblin that ran away earlier? Where did he go? Oh boy, we may have a goblin loose somewhere. Not that he's going to make it very far. Clear my combat log there. You know, we've got four dwarf warriors left here. There's Wedge, Tattooed Will, the Dreamy Frenzy, Rawl the, f the Sixth. Congratulations, you did get a kill. You did kill Asno, the Dark Elf, so let's give you your name back. Rawl Six, congratulations to you. Uh, still no title for you, though, yet. Thomas, you're fine. You didn't get hurt at all. Z Hall, you're fine. You didn't get hurt at all. Um, unfortunately, we unfortunately for us, there's at least three dwarven bodies that'll have to be carried to the crypts, and that squad is pretty decimated. Let's see, that must be the fractional chambers. They're down to seven dwarves, and I don't have anyone I can replace them with. Let's see, the fractional chambers. They were, yeah, this squad right here, led by Thomas Merrick, the professional sword dwarf. Positions 2, 4, and 9 are now open. But I don't, I don't have any, any dwarfs that I can put in there, unfortunately. Um, let's see, the fractional chambers, you can stand down. And we're going we're gonna to move another squad there. Another snatcher has been spotted all the way right there. He is going to turn around and run away. But let's see, what squad should we put down here? I think we'll put the Slick Earths. They've got nine dwarves. We'll station them on the South Gate. South Gate's probably, well, at least from my experience, what I've seen, probably going to have the most action. Even though, well, it's only had the most action because I've kept the other gates closed, so... That wasn't entirely accurate either. Hopefully the South Gate gets a break. And another... Snatcher. This time, Zuzar Bewitched Hated, the White Naga Mage Snatcher. Spotted from a fairly large distance, probably by Mean Melter, the fourth here. Six notable kills for Mean Melter. He's a murderizer. Four other kills, where he was practicing his trade. Yeah, he spots a snatcher from a, a long ways away and gives chase, hooting and hollering, laughing. He's a dwarf berserker. What weapon do you have, actually? You have a cobalt battle axe. We need to get you one in your other hand as well. You've got a red steel shield, black steel spiked helm, iron breastplate. You're not doing too bad. A skilled axe dwarf, adequate sword dwarf, competent dodger. That's another good skill. Wait, what, wait, wait, wait a second. What was your parry at? Shield juice? Only novice. And while you're heading back, you spot a cobalt thief. 
I'm gonna take off hooting and hollering after him. Don't go too far out there. Your squad leader is Master Azra, Captain of the Guard. Your other squad mates are Dr. Rotgut, Daisy, Nami the Fourth, and Slaxer the Sixth. Who knows who other, if there's any more squad mates than that, probably cycling in and out between their bunks. I do have the dwarfs set up to sleep whenever they feel like it, not whenever they, uh, not at complete exhaustion. I don't want exhausted dwarfs on duty, period. Doesn't do us any good. They're flashing hungry and thirsty, which means their stats are also somewhat decreased, but there's nothing I can do about that. I don't want them claiming food, because like someone mentioned in the comments, they leave it laying around all over the place. And, um, it was, yeah, it was stinking things up. It was quite, quite a disaster. The miasma was pissing off many dwarves. They couldn't walk more than two steps without being in it. Gilmuta, Gilmalta, you're charging forward, reporting for duty. I wouldn't be surprised if we're sieged soon or if there's more ambushes. So who do we have down here on duty? Vosir, the seventh. Capianon, the seventh. Griffin God is there. He doesn't have a number. Bo Jackson has shown up. Rawls there. Lockman, the third. You must be on duty, are you? No, it says you're just there to drink. You're just there chatting. Chatting it up. The bloody south gate. You love the smell of dead bodies in the morning, apparently. Aquilus Lupus, the fifth. You're there. Rhymed whip. So everybody's hanging out. And another ambush right there at the south gate this time, of course. It is Lizard, Naga, Black Mage, Black Naga. Charge forward, men. Don't go too far, actually. Let them come to us. Stab them when you see the whites of their eyes, because you can't stab them from any further away. So let's see. You've got competent sword sword. We'll just let them charge forward. Let some of this combat log cycle through, and another ambush. That one gets caught in the cage, and it's Illithids, so we've got Illithids and Lizards showing up at the south gate for a little bit of fun. And how are, how are our dwarfs doing? Cappy stabs the lizard folk spearman in the tail, the severed part sells off. Aquilus Lupus, you kick the lizard folk spearman in the upper body, bruising the muscle through its hair, its hoary marmot leather. Bo Jackson bashes the mystic spearman in the upper body with the black steel mace, bruising the muscle jamming the left true rib through the lung and tearing it open. Begins hacking and wheezing. Capianon slashes one from the in the left arm, cutting it off. So you're a Ginsu knife, Capianon. You're cutting and dicing them to bits. Probably that one same exact lizard folk. You're just chopping him to ribbons. Capianon Anon stabs the lizard folk mystic spearman in the left foot. The severed foot sells off. Get to it, Capianon. Chop him down. Someone was ballsy enough to throw flames across the desert. Holy crap. And Oculus Lupus, one of them lifted you up and threw you down to the pit. You slam onto the ground, right onto the ledge of the rock, fracturing your spine. And you're dead down there. Somebody broke the bridge, too. Gosh dang it. Well then, that certainly changes things. There's no way back onto this side of the fortress with the bridge down, so... Get back to building. We need a brave engineer, even though I know no one's going to go build this. Um, let's see, we'll use... I need 13 of something. What's the closest? Doesn't actually mean it's going to be easy for them to get. It could be 13 closest down in this pit, and then they'll walk all the way around along the outside of the walls to get it. So I don't want to do just the closest. Let's do... Got 99 and desite. Could make it out of pure iron. Fungi wood logs. That's going to take a hefty long time, quite a long time for them to pull that up there. Yay, we'll have a yellow bridge apparently. Oh, but it'll stop them from walking around the outside of the walls and getting ambushed. Bo Jackson is no longer stunned. So yeah, somebody pulled the bridge out from underneath everyone. Dust is rising out of the pit. Stuff is on fire from the flames. People, dwarfs are fighting all down here in the pit. Let's see, there's Bo Jackson. He's winded. He's beat up. Heart, guts, upper spine, third finger injured. Um, kills. You've killed four kills already, though. Congratulations. Stredno and a bunch of swamp trolls. But you're probably going to die. We've got Griffin God down here. Cloistered death. 
he's beat up. And apparently I don't have a, a lead medical dwarf because I can't see their health. So, Chief Medical Dwarf. Oh, we lost our best, our best dwarf, our best medical dwarf. Probably Aqueous Lupus. I think he was um, our chief dwarf, damn it. Jill Loveless, Lovelace. You'll be our talented uh, diagnostician, and you're the best we've got, damn it, Jill. Only you, the master of doctnistician, can help us in our time of need or something. So let's see. Hey, some Sylvan merchants have arrived at the south gate as well. Maybe they can provide some cover fire for us. Where are your mercenaries at? Griffin God slashes the spearman in the right foot with the copper short sword that foot sells off. He also stab one in the left lower leg and fracture the bone. Vosier, you go on a rampage here. You've got four attacks in a row. You slash the nothing wrestler in the lower body, tearing apart the, the fat. You slash the nothing wrestler in the second right head tentacle, shattering the skin. You slash him in the lower body, tearing apart the fat. And you slash him in the left lower leg, tearing the fat. Unfortunately, you've only got a copper short sword, so it's not going to get too much penetration. Griffin God slashes the orc wrestler in the head, tearing apart the muscle and fracturing the skull. Griffin God stabs him again in the head, fracturing the skull. And uh, we'll let the combat log fill up a little bit here. So there is a little bit of combat. Oh, son of a bitch, another ambush. Right there in the smoke. Hopefully it is also in a cage or something. The merchant charges forward. They don't have mercenaries, though. Here comes one of our dwarfs crawling out of the smoke, battered and beaten. It's Campionon the Seventh, winded, upper spine injury. Fuck, he can't stand, he can't grasp. He is going to be dead. He had two kills, Toad Ruthless Lords and Ezlor Menace Buttocks. Worship the nation, Omer, and um, we'll say farewell to you soon. You'll probably suffocate or get struck down by one of these illithids. Let's see, the Mind Flayer charged at the Sylvan Elf Merchant. The Mind Flayer sprouts the Sylvan Elf Merchant in the left lower arm, shattering its bone. So yeah, the, the Illithids are probably going to destroy that elf caravan. Wait a second, wait a second. Who do we have here? It's Griffin God. Amazingly, he appears out of the smoke. He's having trouble breathing, though. He has six kills, starting all the way back in 1084, where he killed his first gray werewolf during that triumphant siege they made across our bridge. Congratulations to you, Griffin God. Stone Dwarf... Fifty-five years old, left lung is bruised. You worship Godem and Ugash. No one has friends in the fortress anymore. They're all too battle-hardened and jaded and cynical. They don't feel like making friends. They know they're going to die and move on or something. But they'll fight and protect each other to the death. And Campion on, you crawl over into the sand and suffocate, finally. Paralyzed from your wounds. And finally, some dwarfs are emerging from the smoke here. We've got Vosir the Seventh. One kill. Let's give you your name back. Um, there we go. Um, 75 years old, right upper arm is bruised. You've, you're a moss dwarf. And you have one passing acquaintance in Isabella, who's taken a little bit of time to talk to you. Your war dog is dead. The Nish and Arist have damned you right now. To more or less be fighting on your own. So they fight bravely out there while they can, but Vosir, you're finally struck down. Illithid toxin is injected directly into Vosir's blood, right through your skull. They uh, sprouted, bruising your muscle, jamming the skull through your brain, and they injected the poison directly into you. Uh, and you quickly dropped, dead. Thankfully it wasn't long in suffering. Griffin God, you're still dancing around there. I don't know if you're actually fighting or not. I don't see any combat log from you. <sighs> Kill them, Griffin God. Griffin God stands up. The Mind Flayer wrestler shakes the horse around. The dogs go crazy. The Orc wrestler attacks Griffin God, but she jumps away. And, um... I don't know, hopefully you can survive. Bo Jackson, you've suffocated down there. Perched over the edge half draped over it, reeling from your wounds, your spinal injuries. Good lord, another ambush? Oh, they're all gonna die out there. 
that bridge is never going to get re rebuilt. So the orc wrestler kicks the horses. Yeah, they, they ambushed on the merchants there. Those merchants are heading headlong into an, into a trap. Griffin gods, you're pretty much screwed, I think. How are you doing down there? You're unhappy. I can certainly understand that. Have you killed any more? Seven kills. You've killed, yeah. Kanako, Viceran, the lizard folk mystic. Ningya, Razor loves the orc. The Mind Flayer was your last one. Hopefully you can kill them all. Wait, have you got a title? Before you die, I need to know. Cloister Dearth. The Raw Rasps of Painting. So you were a painter in your free time. And a Mean Melter spots a Snatcher and a Thief trying to approach from the west. And Daisy gives charge. I could probably send squads out and around to try to sweep through here and save these dwarves, but I don't think it'll do any good, honestly. And quite on, yeah, quite honestly, quite frankly, for being honest in all this, I don't have the dwarves to spare. We're down to 88. And more stuff caught on fire. Smoke's rising over the southern walls for all dwarves to see. Should they walk outside? We'll be training in the barracks up here. They can most certainly see that. Inside the barracks we have Lord British and Bagwin IV discussing this turn of events. Chuck Green is there as well. No doubt going over the gear there. Seeing what else he can craft. He's the one who created that amazing axe for us. So we should thank him considerately. Griffin God, you are limping around through to the, um, the east gate over there. And somebody was bringing a cage back here. Wonderful. I guess I'll allow that. They'll probably be murderized soon. Are there any more ambushes there? I think the merchants ran away and um, the ambushers might have left. I'm going to clear my chat log, or my combat log there. And another snatcher. Spawned right there. He'll take off and run away. He doesn't want none. Not from the dwarves, not from the war dogs. He might actually wander into a trap. Oh, please don't. I don't want to waste space on you. Good, he avoids the trap. <sighs> Unfortunately, my animal stockpile is almost full. And most of my animal tamers are dead. Most of my good ones. They're either dead or on duty. So I cannot clear it out as quickly as I would like. I may actually sit down soon and specialize a whole bunch of the fortress. It's one, it's one thing I absolutely hate doing. I hate making specialized dwarfs. Um, I like dwarfs being able to cycle in and out of the military. I like them to be able to do any jobs that are called upon. But unfortunately, I don't have the dwarf population anymore to do that. So many of my talented dwarfs have gone and passed on to the next realm is an unfortunate turn of events. Is this bridge still being built? Yes. Thankfully, it hasn't been suspended yet. So maybe in another season or two, that'll be finished and finalized. There's Triple H-13 Tomeborn, one of the brave body recoverers running along the outside of the wall. We try to honor our dead by burying them as quickly as possible, even if it means more, d more dwarfs will get killed in the process. And why are you leaving a trail of blood? You're faint. Moderate blood loss. Heavy bleeding. What? You stepped in some poison, didn't you? Your wombs. Liver tissue. You're all messed up. Let's see. You were evaluated. Six moonstone. That shouldn't have been. That wasn't too long ago, was it? Did you just get out of a fight? Late spring, 22nd fell aside. No, it hasn't been too long. You must have got caught up in some toxin, some illithid poison or something. And Alex bleeds to death, unfortunately. Well, rest in peace. I'm going to quickly run a, a blood clean up here. There we go. Cheater, cheater. Yes, I know all that. Let's see, we've got tower cat barrel schist. A bunch of mind flayer body parts all laying all over the place. Waiting to poison our dwarves when they come pick them up. Oh, man. Well, it is late spring, 1095, population of 87. We continue to lose dwarves. We should get a migrant wave anytime soon, though, if they'll 
they'll get here before the seizures do. I have no idea. There goes Griffin God, winded, and slowly making his way back. Probably to the hospital. That's where I assume he would be going. We still have Rar in the hospital. Ability to stand lost. You're gone. Laud trade. The dourness of whiteness. Here we have three man seven five. You're paralyzed. You're unconscious. Kinchan, I believe you're unconscious. Simon is unconscious. And er, all of you are paralyzed. Unable to stand. I mean, Ultra's paralyzed. Dingleberry, pretty sure you're uh, paralyzed. Ability to stand and grasp. Lost. I probably could lock up the hospital now. And I'm still all of them off. Clean them out. But I don't have my secondary backup hospital built yet. And with Griffin God coming back wounded and probably more ambushes on the way, it's just simply not a good time for it. So we'll come back whenever the next ambush happens. Maybe Cody will decide to show up and we can fight him. Otherwise, I'm going to be relieving this squad soon. Which means Cody will arrive whenever I'm not prepared and will slaughter probably a good number of dwarves before we get the military there to stop him. He is currently prancing around with Jing Chan Fatal Umbra down there, the Forgotten Beast. K and S, setting in the cavern level, waiting to be massacred by dwarves. Oh yeah, it's late spring. We still have till the end of autumn before I charge through there and clean out the zoo, though. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Um, we had a Forgotten Beast show up. I had to cut out the, uh, the arrival dialogue because the dogs started going crazy again. I'm almost got it narrowed down to what drives them to, to bark all the time. I think they hear me talking. They, they must hear my voice in this room, and it just freaks them out for some reason. But we've got a new Forgotten Beast, Siva, a gigantic hairy leech. It has an enormous shell, and it undulates rhythmically. It has aqua hair that is short and even. Beware of its webs. So it's got evenly groomed aqua hair. And I've um, sent one of our squads down here to deal with it. The Factional Chambers. It's just sitting underneath the water here. Just eyeballing us and waiting. I think... You know what? Let's send the Arches of Shooting as well. Let's send one of our Archer squads down there. It'll probably take them a little bit to make it there, but they'll plunk a few arrows into it, or try to, and hopefully get its attention. Unfortunately, the other Forgotten Beast that I'm waiting on... Let's see, he should be over here somewhere. Cody. There's no telling where he is. He's waiting until I've completely forgotten about him, and then he's going to pop up right in the middle of my residential area. And tear dwarfs all to ribbons. Eh, yeah, he's over here somewhere. Down in the zoo level with, what, something like five or six other forgotten beasts that still live. That's going to be fun whenever we clear that, out, clear that out. There's either going to be a whole bunch of death and chaos, or there's going to be a whole bunch of new named weapons from heroic dwarves. There's Siva just sitting there. That flashing L. Underneath the seven. So who do we have standing here waiting to go to battle? We've got Mr. Phaser Beam, Golden Sanctums, Golden Sax, Wedge, Tattooed Will, The Dreamy Frenzy, Zedicus is there, Realm Golds, Z Hall the Sixth, Beach Rope, the Fortunate Glade of Voice, Thomas Merrick's there, Rawl is there, and Metal Slime Hunt is there. I did do a little bit of rearranging with the military. Um, disbanded one squad completely, whatever squad was there, I think. But I've still got huge gaps in some of these um, squads, unfortunately. The Archers of Shooting is down two archers. Um, all of the top squads are completely filled up. The top squads with the best leaders. <sighs> they are the ones guarding the gates up top. In fact, let's check on them and see how they're doing. The South Bridge is um, waiting for an architect to come finish it up. And um, I've still got a few bodies out there. There's a body. There's probably more bodies out there just waiting to rot away, turn into ghosts. See a whole bunch of bears and turtles walking along the outside of the fence waiting to kick up an ambush. 
There's I stock for cash, room stocked on patrol duty, and of course, the other squad is just hanging out at the gates, waiting for their chance to charge into battle and die. Oh, and look at that. You seeing what I'm seeing? Got a little bitty illithid group over there. I'm half tempted to send a squad out and try to deal with it. But you know what? I'm just going to wait. Uh, are they moving? Okay, somebody's fighting. The Forgotten Beast Steva is fighting. It's caught a bolt. Who shot? Triple H, you fired a bolt. You fired a copper bolt at the Forgotten Beast. It tore through the muscle and bruised the guts. So can you grab... Is it dead? No, it's not. There goes another bolt. That copper bolt strikes the Forgotten Beast and the body tears the gut. That one lodges in the shell. Lodges firmly in the wound. Good aiming. That copper bolt strikes the beast in the body, tearing the muscle and bruising the guts. Another direct hit. Right in the shell, tearing through it. And so far, it's just Triple H, 13. Unloading all of his copper bolts. That one hits the shell, tears a chunk out of it, embeds itself in there. Another one sticks into the shell. The beast is just bleeding as white and nasty, leechy blood all over the place. I don't know if one archer is going to be enough to take out the beast. Who knows? Anyone else showing up? Or archers just standing back there amidst the melee dwarfs, having a good laugh. Blood is floating to the surface. Surprised he can aim there. That one tears through the guts and bruises them. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna scram. I'm gonna move one of the squads. The fractional chambers. We'll move them right there on the edge. My biggest concern is one of them diving in. And there we go. Finally, that leech might be coming after us. Yeah, the beach. The leech beaches himself right there on the on the river bank. And Z Hall beach rope goes to pull the beast ashore and slay him. Zihal stabs the Forgotten Beast in the shell with his copper short sword and tears through it. The beast charges on land. Thankfully, it doesn't have dust or blood or anything, just webs. Probably a pretty quick fight. Wedge kicks the beast in the body with the right foot, bruising through its fat. More dwarfs surround it and jump on top. Zihal stabs the beast in the mouth with the flat of his copper short sword. It bruises the skin. Zihal, you're angry and you're biting it as well. You bite it in the mouth after you punch it, or slap it with your blade, and then you tore a piece of the skin off as you shake it around. Metal Slime hunts in there, he lands a blow on the shell, cutting a chunk off. Glenn, you stab the Forgotten Beast in the body with the Cobalt Short Sword. It tears the muscle and bruises the guts. Yeah, Beast... Um, is it dead yet? Copper Bolt strikes the Forgotten Beast in the body from behind, tearing the muscle and tearing the brain. So who got the kill? I'm gonna say Triple H probably. Metal Slime Hunt, let's see. Looks like, no, you fired the last bolt. Forgotten Beast counter strikes at Metal Slime Hunt, but the shot is blocked. Um, let's see real quick if anybody lost their name. Metal Slime Hunt, you killed, you did not get the kill. Unfortunate for you, Raw. Wait a second, I guess unpause it for a moment. Yeah, the beast is dead. I must know who got the kill. Triple H, was it you? Yes, it is. So congratulations to Triple H, he killed Siva, the Forgotten Beast, and last year he killed uh, a gray werewolf that was unnamed. So he's moving up in the world, he's 70 years old, so he better get on the ball. And he's an ice dwarf, he's strong but clumsy and slow to heal. He likes Talc, Electrum, Shori, Entwood, Giant Ant, Treated Chitin, the Color Teal, and Black Opal go Golems for their rockiness. When possible, he prefers to eat clownfish, passion fruit juice, and ground stoned. Um, let's see. He has an astounding feel for the position of his own body, great intuition, and a good memory. And he also absolutely detests toads. Your wife, Cicero the Sixth, is still alive. Um, your eldest daughter, Firestar the Fourth, is um, still alive as well, as well as Variax the Seventh. So your whole family is doing good. Dolek and Omer are apparently smiling on you today. So there's that forgotten beast. Um, factional chambers stand down. The arches of shooting stand down. 
And um, we'll go back to waiting for, for Cody to arrive over here on the farming level, the zoo level, wherever he is. And, uh, face his justice as well. <clears throat> I'm sure he'll put up a little bit more of a fight since he can shoot flames and stuff. I, I really have a strong feeling he's going to burn down the farms over there. Whenever the fight starts. So it is um, midsummer. Actually, you know what? At the end of at the end of summer, my bad. At the end of summer, we're gonna sweep through the zoo level, not the end of autumn. That'd be way too long. There's Isabella, Parched Diamond, the skinny portal of gravel or graves. Take your pick. Standing watch over the unfinished South Ridge, perhaps. Bearing down into the pit where so many dwarfs and other creatures have given their lives. Truly a horrible place. We'll be back at the next ambush. Probably those illithids up in the corner, actually. Even though they might not be moving. They might just be scouting us out for now. Waiting for a siege to show up. So they can strike when we're distracted. 